Hey guys, what's up? Today I have decided to, that I'm going to do a long overdue video, which is um, my collection. And uh, because I have knives in different places, so today's uh, video is about most my uh, custom or high-end, higher-end uh, collections. And uh, it will take a little bit long time uh, because some of the knives I have, they are still in bags or um, boxes. So it will take a few seconds for me to um, unbox it or uh, unbox it and then I have to put it back. So let's get started with uh, some of the knives. I already have it out. Let's start with Strider knives. Uh, this is a mixed Strider, full custom uh, SNG. It's a spear point, full titanium, uh, flame colored, and the frag pattern with uh, standoffs. Mix uh, signature is right there. This is one of the, you know, one of my favorite uh, Strider knives. Okay, I'm going to do. The, I'm try, I'm going to try to do this quick because you know, time. Uh, this is Three Rivers collaboration with uh, Mr. Tersuola and uh, True North Knives. Titanium frame lock, uh, carbon fiber backspacer, thumb disc opener, very slim, uh, very nice pocket clip with only one screw, and very smooth. This is my uh, Shirogorov Tabargan. I got this from a, a very nice friend, very good friend from Russia. Uh, pretty long blade. I uh, use as uh, axis lock, but uh, this axis lock is just um, way stronger uh, than the usual bench-made axis lock that uh, you find. very smooth action this is Reese Wayland's um, Karambit frame lock I use as a trigger so it's also called the trigger Karambit and when you pull it out of the pocket you can trigger it and uh, it deploys uh, the blade very very quickly uh, it's one of the quickest if not the quickest uh, Karambit on the market. Now, my beloved Shurogorov model 95T. Uh, this is the pre uh, bearing version. I love this one. The action is excellent. Uses um, S90B and uh, bronze washer. Perfect centering, excellent uh, di uh, anodizing and polishing of the scale and very very light uh, for a uh, four inches long blade. Sergey, um, this is his uh, model XR6 and uh, it's built with my uh, specification M4 steel hardened very very high I believe I asked him to do it up to 64 Rockwell hardness uh, first time he used these uh, plate steel type uh, finishes, standoffs, and artistic yet very functional uh, wire clip with brass. This thing sus it's a mean slicer with a steel lock insert. Excellent knife. Very, very hard to find now. Okay, what else? Ah. This is a Strider with Bob Tersuola collaboration work. Uh, it is the size of a SNG XL, so it's a very large knife. So I think it's a four and a quarter inch long blade. Um, it's they only have uh, 25 of these uh, around in the world, and I do not believe they have time or they have plans to build anymore. 
this is just an excellent big knife. If you if you love, love striders, uh, this has every ounce of essence of a strider. Um, semi integral uh, G10 backspacer, contoured, uh, flame titanium, frame lock, lock bar stabilizer, and uh, the thumb stud here. It's um, it's you can move around so for easier opening okay here I have a uh, okay you guys will have to excuse me because some of the model or the maker I will forget these skins uh, this knife is uh, from uh, Blaze Show 2014. It's a, a Blaze Show only uh, version. Analyzed screwed screws, low uh, pocket clip, low right pocket clip. Very cool uh, pivot, and it is dual action automatic with steel. Uh, Lock bar insert, no stickiness, high polish uh, blade, very very high polish blade, and uh, complex grind. Excellent knife, also very very hard to find. Comes with these um, awesome leather pouches. We have, ooh. Uh, Broadwell um, Technics with Mokutai a dual color, dual tone Mokutai uh, bolster. Not regular uh, straight line, carved out lining stripe, uh, carbon fiber scale, G10 backspacer and a um, bent clip but it's um, nicely uh, designed a bent clip with very very cool grind not everybody's uh, cup of tea of course but you know very nice uh, to blend in art and uh, uh, tactical knife into it Awesome piece. Okay, we have a uh, Tony Marfion Socom. This is one of my favorite knife also. Uh, tab lock, great clip, open uh, backspacer, very low void carbon fiber scale and very very cool grind this is this is one of the, the most awesome grinds you get um, it's four inch blade pretty long uh, the action is very very fast uh, this is one of my uh, favorite tactical mine tactical fighting defensive offensive slash Knife. Here we have a Allen Elishuis with a low tack design collaboration knife. Um, another win M3. Um, it's a composite. A very hard and uh, highly polished uh, material, carbon fiber uh, clip, very very uh, strong, very dark, uh, zirconium, zirconium bolster with uh, detent bolts inserted, and here also and jewel polished. Dual tone liner lock. I believe this 
uses, yes, uh, it does not use uh, bearing, but flip like crazy. Um, you know, I, I really like knife without bearing sometimes, and uh, Allen does it uh, perfectly. Okay, almost everything is customized here and very comfortable. Crazy grind, super comfortable in the hand. Okay, next. I'm just picking up knife uh, from the floor. This is a top bag bodega, one of the first uh, run, very highly um, labor oriented mid tech custom or mid tech knife. I love this knife. Uh, it just it's one of the best knives. Uh, in my collection awesome um, hollow grind the flow is just right uh, the feel in hand is it's awesome because everything is contoured it just feels right uh, the lock bar can be uh, taken out uh, or uh, uh, switch a new one when this one it's uh, it's, it's, it's broken or whatever great lightning strike carbon fiber uh, cracked ice uh, jewel in here also on the clip and uh, Todd is the first one who uses a um, bold uh, detent or uh, steel balls uh, for uh, the clip uh, he has a new version or a new model that uses uh, ceramic balls excellent knife Todd Beck's Bodega One of my favorite Martin Slish, Slish Stylus uh, 2. This knife is just so easy to carry. Um, the feel in hand is uh, matched by a lot of frame lock knife. I, I love the design, it's, it's <coughs> right. The small touches, like the rounded uh, screws. Are, are perfect um, custom bronze uh, or I believe it's a yeah bronze or copper um, <coughs> standoffs lightly uh, blue anodized uh, frame lock and stone washed perfect Flipping action with IKBS. Perfect centering. Love this knife. Oh, here we got Pohan Luz Hamachi. I recently did a, a video of this knife. Uh, extremely sharp. Beefy. Nice. Uh, chunk of far use tactical folder high titanium um, bolster uh, silver twill scale full titanium firm block side 3d carved uh, clip perfect centering and did I mention sharp yep with the uh, IKBS I believe great custom knife and awesome custom knife maker. Okay, um, we have a Bob Tersuola Eagle Rock. This is one of my uh, first uh, knife from Bob. Look at that sick grind. Triple ground. I messed up here in sharpening. I can never sharp, sharpen this uh, knife right. I suck. Uh, it's a frame block line with scale overlays. I love this micarta. Very nicely polished 
and the color changes when it's wet and gives you a little bit more traction. The backspacer is also uh, the green micarta. Pretty thick uh, frame, titanium frames. Not heavy at all uh, for this uh, four and some inches long blade. Action, very, very smooth. Great jimping. Bob Terzola, the godfather of all tactical knives. Now we have a very, uh, one of my uh, first custom knives, Tom Watson. Um, I believe this is called the Wasp. I might be wrong, but you know, uh, you guys have to forgive me on that. Excellent, excellent custom knife maker. I do not know why he is not famous and hot and you know everything. Um, this knife should be sold for over two thousand. You know, honestly. Um, but uh, his work is known little. Uh, probably he doesn't make a lot of knives, and. Um, I don't know if he's uh, semi-retiring, but uh, he makes awesome folders. If you guys um, check him out, seriously, just check him out. Look at that. That is just crazy. Uh, okay, I, I believe this is the Wasp XL. Perfect centering, uh, perfect uh, pocket clip. Look at that beautiful curve. A G10 with carved lines, um, titanium bolster, or maybe a stainless uh, steel bolster, I'm not sure on this one. Um, the jewel liners are just, uh, um, not jewel, how do you call this? Um, uh, well, I forgot the name, or how do you call it? Uh, but it's perfect, I don't know if you can see the jewel liner inside, yeah, it's jewel. Everything's just beautiful. And dual tone, blue and gold. This is just a beautiful knife. And I don't know if you can see some of this insert. Uh, I believe they are bronze or copper tubes in the box space. You know, not many makers now do this type of work because um, it's very, very time consuming. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have my first Jens Ansel. Uh, this is one of his uh, test lab uh, uh, test lab piece. I want it in a auction. Uh, blade uh, lock bar stabilizer uh, over it stops you from overbending. Tip down carry, very nice and thick uh, clip. Great, great uh, texture he done here. All the uh, hardware's are a bit plastic, and the look at that crazy uh, grind. Jens is just a magician in his works, and uh, his design are very, uh, very, um, you know, distinctive very very comfortable big knife this is a big knife and pretty thick knife also look at that this just compare it with uh, i don't know the sng look at how look at it and this is a thick knife already it's just it's crazy thick but not very heavy feels really nice uh, in the hand Let's go on. What do you have here? Ooh, my favorite of my collection. Uh, Bob Terzola, Eagle Rock. Look at that grind. This is like, uh, I don't know, uh, Tanto, Harpoon, um, Drop Point style. It's very beautiful. Highly polished, 
not mirror polish but highly polished polished and stone wash Mokutai analyzed and flamed um, 18k or maybe 24k filler here between the scale and bolster I don't know how he does it he just Mr. Tetsula is uh, the master of all knives for me one awesome screwless clip with his name on it the lining stripe carbon fiber here are very uh, are also very beautiful it has a very uh, deep um, uh, copper color the lines with a not very uh, uh, often seen skull crusher which is also Makutai with a lanyard hole here back spacer this is a pride of my uh, my collection it's just you know so beautiful oh, Makutai thumb disc got the details in the there's a polish line inside and the outside are um, orange peel texture so so much detail in this knife instant classic Tom Mayo Warney um, folder with a, uh, his bullet hole design and a 306 uh, bullet spot here nice um, I think this is a basket weave Damascus it's it's amazing when you touch the the, the, the the blade you can feel the every line of the Damascus incredible um, how Mr. Mayo uh, does a, a simple yet you know to perfection uh, knife this is this is a very very comfortable knife and a very usable EDC um, everything is just right on this knife and he's been named the best knife uh, custom knife maker who's alive and well in uh, Blade magazine okay we have a Direware uh, Hyper S90 V S90 yeah, Hyper S90 uh, this knife is from Eric with a bolster and uh, low boy carbon fiber steel very very you know beefy chunky knife and I love it uh, because it serves uh, its purpose um, this is a small well not small but no, not overly long uh, EDC this is good for you know almost anything you can you know, go pry with it this is one of those uh, jungle type uh, knife perfect center uh, I think it uses very very uh, flipping friendly M390 super steel perfect centering and very very sharp very very sharp nice grind kind of heavy but you know that's what you get when you have a lot of uh, materials in the hand very substantial awesome knife what do we have here <clears throat> okay um this is a strider strider uh, strider <clears throat> sj 75 i think uh, 
small. This is a full custom by Mix Rider. As you can see, his uh, signature there. Nightmare Ground. Dragon Spine on the blade. Perfect analyze and custom pivot. That you don't see a lot. <coughs> also, uh, a little bit of uh, file work here. This is a very, very nice design knife. Um, they should make more of this. It's just an AC EDC. Fits nicely in the pocket. Um, it's very, very sharp. And uh, it's not, you know, scary. Uh, it's good for a lot of uh, people who are not, not who, who, who are non-knife people, let's say. Beautiful knife. Full custom. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. Let me put it back. And with this really cool pouch. <clears throat> this is Eugene from Olamic Tactical. Um, I got this knife from Glacial again and uh, very very highly polished everything um, highly polished uh, GT scale which gives you that uh, wood grain uh, type of look um, all that butt here big lanyard hole I don't know you can probably fit your finger there a very very highly polished blade almost a mirror or probably mirror if you want to call it um, nice long uh, blade very very uh, user friendly very comfortable in the hand and um, not overly expensive as a um, <clears throat> I will call it mid tech uh, this is not full custom but uh, I know they have invested a lot of time on these knives um, centering is good a little bit tiny off to the right but uh, compared to a lot of knives in this price range uh, this is very very unmatched oh I think I forgot to do a video about this knife um, this is Leon Ma and Eddie Bacas I believe it's called a Remedy um, if I'm wrong, sorry Leon. Uh, one of my favorite design from Leon, and uh, you know Leon is my uh, my buddy. I like him a lot. I love him actually. And uh, he did a collaboration work with uh, Eddie Baca, and I, I do not believe uh, there's there's a lot of this knife uh, flowing around. Um, probably only 10 or maybe less than 10 I really like how he he uh, Leon uses this type of design uh, which uh, gives you a, a different uh, angle view of the handle and this little notch here that when the knife is open you can uh, rest your thumb it's just another uh, ergonomic design very very uh, sharp jimping here you can use it for you know wood cutting actually um, but you know knife is for adults so you be careful uh, this is a very uh, interesting play shape um, kind of like um, tanto maybe I don't know draw point tanto oh anyways um, highly hand wrapped very nicely uh, polished big pivot liner lock they're yeah, all um, eggshell texture, low void, carbon fiber, uh, standoff with a hole in the middle for lanyards. Uh, the construction is um, not the most um, hard type of construction, but when put everything together, uh, the little details just shows up. Uh, perfect centering, great flipping action. I don't believe these are. Um, bearing uh, flippers which again 
very few now. So yeah, that's a fail, leaping. Give it a little bit more push. Great knife, I'll do a video when I have time, okay? Let's see what's next. Oh, we have the Rex Ford. This is the, you know, the best. My favorite knife, uh, again. One of my favorite knife of all my collections. And, um, well, you guys know the story. You can go watch my video. Zirconium thumb stud, zirconium um, bolster, uh, people collar, uh, people inlay, mokume, people inbe, inlay, uh, hot hammered titanium with uh, flame color. Same with the clip, perfectly carved out clip. Zirconium standoff custom 100% where, where can you get that type of uh, details perfect action this is by far honestly the smoothest knife uh, without the bearing that I have handled and I, ha I, ha I have handled very very a lot of knives so this is by far the smoothest uh, knife without bearing Chanika's uh, um, Damascus. Okay, so guys, next. Man, I just figured I'll have a lot of knives. Oh, this is Top Bag's uh, Friction Bodega. Not bodega, glimpse. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, look at that high polished and well flamed or heat colored Mokutai. That is just some work of art. Titanium with cracked eyes texture, golden gold analyzed, backspacer titanium dual tongue color blue and gold and ground blade by Todd with his famous one two three four five six seven holes it's a friction folder perfectly centered it's just I don't know this is just not, this belongs to a museum honestly next This is Gus Sacchini, Gustavo Sacchini's dual BUE. It's a dual uh, flipper, so you can flip it from here or you can flip it from here. Uh, let's flip it first from the with the clip facing up. Look at that. Now let's close it. Just be careful when closing it, or you will cut yourself. Sorry, it's, it's kind of hard to close it from uh, from this from the the camera. And now let's flip it with the other side that that has no clip. Beautiful design, beautiful blade. Mokotai, I believe they are Mokotai. Custom a pivot, custom clip, everything custom on this one. Beautiful work. From GTC Knives. Okay, what have we got here? Oof. My favorite, um, RJ Martin DRT, DRT dead right there. Now, this is the original DRT. Um, it's 
priceless now. Uh, he doesn't make any more of these. He makes some variant, but the variant lacks uh, a lot of uh, detail works as this one. Uh, this one has the textured carbon fiber inlays or onlays or overlays. Uh, they are also all textured, fluted, really nice black hardware. Um, the inside of the knife are, as you can see, hollowed uh, to make the, the, the weight lighter. Uh, they are all hollow inside. Um, the action is just like you know, it's the fastest. It's the fastest knife for this size of uh, blade. Recurve. Um, pretty thick knife, about four and a half millimeter maybe. Good reach. Comfortable in the hand because it's very light. Um, the action is just quick. My favorite tactical blade from RJ Martin. Mm. Okay, we will do that now. Full of surprises. I believe these are my Birches. Michael Birch. I only have two of his knives, so I suck. Um, I, I know people have like 10 of his knives. Uh, this is a swoop, I believe. That's the name of the knife. Mokutai. Raindrop uh, pattern. Bolster. Uh, Mokutai clip. Nice, nice um, 3D card. It's 1095 blade steel, a little bit of rust here, there's nothing else I can do, came, uh, the, the custom messed it up, but I have uh, waxed it, and uh, so it's, it's okay, didn't like, expand, really nice hammer, very, <laughs> I don't know, this is just a big, thick, stout knife for uh, ADC use, I love it, uh, dovetail style, bolster contact liner lock very smooth I but I don't believe these are yeah these are not uh, bearings uh, it uses uh, Teflon washer which glides really well okay the next birch is I believe it's called the hybrid bit. And this is another uh, jewel on my crown. Mammoth um, Ivory Damascus Spider Web Damascus. And this one's a flipper. I believe it uses IKBS, yes. 1095 uh, steel. Very thick. No clip on this one. Um, nice. Um, Damascus uh, box spacer here um, Orange peel texture uh, blue or purple analyzed Liners here Everything is just perfect on this knife the action the feel in the hand uh, the weight the purpose of the knife um, the blade The hammonds just it's just beautiful It's just beautiful Thank you, Michael, for the knife. What else? What else? Uh, okay, I have a bunch of knives here. This is a Michael Smith knife. Um, I love Michael Smith's uh, work. Uh, very very functional small uh, gentleman EDC knife analyzed gold liner stainless bolster uh, pre-band ivory um, uh, how do you call this uh, filed backspacer and anodized perfect file and there's a little ruby here in the thumb stud uh, perfect hand wrap finish 
very very highly polished perfect lockup and again perfect action for this little one love it This is a uh, Wayne Thomas uh, SSF Super Sexy Folder. Uh, this is one of his first times that he uses a bolster, titanium bolster, and it is also marked as the P1. P1 is a prototype number one, and the Wayne Thomas um, signature there. Um, this is a, you don't see this often. Um, they, they, he probably has. You know, just a couple of these uh, made and sold. This is a very, very light knife, full titanium uh, blade, titanium bolster, titanium trim lock, and carbon fiber. So, this is um, probably the entire knife is a magnetic uh, free, non magnetic knife. Uh, the washer are Teflon washer, so there are no metals here. The screws, they are all uh, titanium. Uh, Warren is all is honestly a, a very, very talented uh, person, knife maker. I love this knife. Thank you, Warren, if you're watching this. Thank you for the knife. Oof, we have a wild uh, Tom Mayo full um, covert tanto this is this is just one of those knives that's it's almost impossible to get now uh, this is a uh, 6k I don't know if you guys can see 6k composite it's not a steel so this is one of those uh, another full um, magnetic proof knife titanium screws here titanium pivot titanium clip titanium scale and no magnetic knife means no corrosion so you can dive with this knife and just wipe it off another grill Todd Beggs, Gentleman Glimpse. Um, I got this a couple of years ago. Blue, cracked eyes, finish. On the clip also. Nice, uh, reversed, uh, rounded head, screws. Um, the frame is G10 with titanium liners. And this is a very nice wood with a pin. I do not know what type of uh, wood this. I have to do a search. I have the birth certificate of this knife and a really really nice dark black out Damascus perfect wine perfect action perfect centering the usual masterpiece beautiful And I have this one, this little one. I think I won it from a giveaway. Uh, this is by, I believe his last name is Berkus. I do not know, uh, I, I forgot his first name. Um, he, uh, I got this knife like maybe probably five years ago. Oh, Papi was his last name, or maybe, you know, Papi Knives, right there. And uh, he's uh, from uh, Europe. He has talent, but uh, I believe uh, he did something wrong and uh, he's not selling knives anymore. That's a nice backspacer, la color liners, uh, mother of pearl, um, bolster, my Damascus bolster, Damascus um, blade, nice gentleman knife, not really smooth though, not as smooth as the Michael uh, Smith's knife. 
and the probe inlay for the thumb disc, thumb stud. Nice knife, nice knife. I don't use them, they're too small. Okay, let's see what else we have. Strider and Starling Gear collaboration work. I believe I, this is my favorite Star, uh, Starling Gear collaboration um, with Striders. Look at that laser edge and, uh, right here. You see the skull head. Very, very nice laser edge. And on the handle and on the clip carbon fiber semi integral and with this really cool strider bit with this is also my first uh, bits from uh, starting gear this is just so cool and I believe this is a ever great uh, leather very thick very hard Blade centering uh, a little bit to the left, but nonetheless, not touching. So, how do I put it back? There you go. Awesome. This is also one of my first uh, customs, if you can call them customs. <clears throat> And now we have uh, another Leoma design. Terry, uh, Ferry, Tom Ferry, I believe his name, the, the maker's name. And this is his model, but uh, modified by uh, Leoma. Very clean lines. It's a fun flipper. Uh, his original design comes with the uh, uh, double guard um, and uh, Lil Ma shape delf to make it a uh, straighter uh, look. It's really impressive actually. The action is very good on this one. Alright guys, I'm going to take a rest and uh, We'll go to part two, I guess. Sub and uh, <laughs> like and share, and uh, you guys go take a rest also. <laughs>